And this is the final approach. The flag is up. And they're off. Racing for this Virgin Bet Silly Isles Novices Chase Grade 1. And the first obstacles are the railway fences. And Paint the Dream is the early leader from Chamblou on the inside. Hitman is just wider out, clearing the first up the straight landing in fourth place. Then Mezir des Oboe and followed by Dan de Compagnie and Sporting John. Quickly on to the second and all good there. And now on to the third of the three railway fences close together and they've not caught these uh, novices out at all. They've all jumped them really well and it's Chamblou on the inside of Paint the Dream. Uh, two and a half lengths away then to Hitman, out wide of Mazir de Zobo, up the straight out wide in light blue sleeves, the green cap aboard Dame de Compagnie, worn by Nico de Boinville, and at the back is Sporting John in the white cap aboard the J.P. McManus colours, and uh, that white cap donned by Richard Johnson. On now towards the pond fence for the first time, and paint the dream, who really got his act together last time out at Newbury, out in front. By uh, two or three lengths now to Chamblou and Hitman. And then Dame de Compagnie and up the straight on the outside. Mazir de Zobo around the inside and three or four lengths away to Sporting John. Into the home straight and on towards a couple of plain fences today. And Paint the Dream jumping well in the lead. Slow at the back there was Sporting John who's getting a little bit detached. Albeit at this still early stage. On towards the next. Paint the Dream by a good three lengths to Chamblou on the inside of Hitman. They're followed by Dame de Compagnie and Mezir des Obo up the straight and three or four lengths to Sporting John. So racing up the hill and uh, about to pass the winning post, climbing all the way to the highest point on the race course in what looked really testing conditions in the opener today. And Paint the Dream out in front by a couple of lengths to Chamblou defending an unbeaten record over fences in second on the inside of Hitman, runner-up in the Henry VIII novices chase here before Christmas. Up the straight on the outside of the Dipper winner, Mezir de Zobo on the inside between them last season's Coral Cup winner, uh, Dame de Compagnie, and finally Sporting John. On down the side of the course, downhill now towards the next plane fence. Paint the dream by a couple of lengths, a bit less in fact, to Sham Blue. Hitman on the outside, and then Mezir des Obo and Dame de Compagnie and up the straight as they jump this one. And again, they're all safely over. The leading group and Sporting John remains the bat marker about four or five lengths adrift. Into the back straight, and Paint the Dream has been out in front all the way, not too many changes in the order. Sham Blue always second on the inside of Hitman. As they approach the first plane fence down the back straight, paint the dream. Chamblou, a fast jump on the inside and goes right up to join the leader there. Hitman out wider. On to the next. Chamblou lifts off in front this time from paint the dream. Then Hitman, Mezir de Zobo about three or four lengths back from up the straight. Dame de Compagnie and Sporting John over that open ditch. And another excellent jump from Chamblou over the ditch. Heading halfway down the back straight now towards the water jump. And Chamblou has really jumped his way into the lead here. Hitman on the outside. Paint the Dream is ridden into the water jump. Followed by Mezir des Obo. And then up the straight. Dame de Compagnie behind these and Sporting John as they return to the three railway fences. Chamblou just ahead of Hitman coming in to take it. And another great jump for Chamblou. Oh, and hit, Hitman has gone there. Hitman is down at the sixth last. The first of the railway fences. Chamblou over the next from Paint the Dream. And Mezir des Obo. And now they head on towards the last in the back straight. Chamblou from Paint the Dream. Mezir des Obo. Sporting John is running on from a poor position. A Dame de Compagnie is also gone out there. Uh, has parted company at some point with Nico de Boinville. As the leaders now turn out of the back straight. And it's Chamblou from Paint the Dream. Mezir des Obo on the inside. And they are clear of the chasing Sporting John. And then up 
the straight as they head towards the pond now and this will be the third last sham blue seeking a fourth straight win over fences paint the dream mazir des Obo under pressure sporting john still making ground in that white cap and then up the straight over the third last harry skelton just gets after sham blue now and paint the dream is coming back on the scene on the outside they're followed by sporting john who still looks a threat onto the second last sham blue really finding something going towards two out found another length or two there sporting john now looking the danger down the outside sham blue up this tiring hill sporting john is chasing him down in second place and joining sham blue at the last sham blue came up brilliantly again however sham blue is jumping as a joy sporting john is fighting back on the near side sham blue from sporting john and sporting john is just getting the better of things now having laid well out the back in the early stages didn't look to be traveling he comes home well however and sporting john wins the silly isles from in second sham blue third paint the dream mazir de Ubo back in fourth and finally the last to finish up the street